Hi, welcome to another tutorial. This one's um, just a revised program for the uh, rotary encoder. Uh, shows you a clever bit of maths for the printing or displaying these lines on the GLCD. So if I give you a quick demonstration, at the moment I've set it um, so the counter increments 0.1 for every click on the encoder. So, we, so we've got about roughly 60 lines there. Uh, I've started the counter at something like minus 1.555, which is the sine and cosine of um, was it zero degrees? So we start at the top, just because we're used to seeing I don't know something representing seconds or minutes starting at the top. Zero degrees is actually three o'clock. So I'll show you the code in a minute, but let me just run through this. So I've got it when it jumps over 4.54. Zeros uh, clears the screen and we start again. So I'll show you the code. This is I'm just turning this. This is a one click every line. As I say, roughly 60 clicks. So if I just race along, so it's just one line of code instead of 60. Uh, and I'll show you how to do it. So that's uh, counting up in small steps. As I say, point one. So if I click reverse, it jumps down in bigger steps and you can see going backwards in bigger steps, only about, I don't know, 30 or so, 30 steps backwards. But obviously the counter doesn't reset, so we can keep on going. You see the counter, the minus 12, 13, and you can see it obviously fills in all the gaps. It'll keep on doing it until it's black. So if I clear, if I, I hit the reset, you see the steps. That's reverse. And then it hit reset again. Start going forward. So it's smaller steps. Right, if I show you the code, well, that's a setup for the GLCD. Well, we have to mess about with the uh, the figures. So the counter was previously a char because we were only counting up to 255, whatever. Now we have to float because it's going to have, um, well, decimal places. So we change the counter to float. Uh, still got a text for showing the numbers on the screen. These are all the same, uh, child capture, child text. Right, so forget the second, because I'm not using them. Right, so we've got uh, so X and Y with your pl plotting on the screen. So we've got, uh, for Micro C Pro, you've got to call uh, the cosine a, a double. Um, uh, same, so it's called it cosine X for width and uh, double the uh, Y, so sine Y, uh, char width, char height, except I'm not using it at the moment, so forget the char width and height. Right, but what we have got is 128 across and 64 high or down. Right, this is uh, the cosine X and Y, so we're saying the counter, uh, we're saying cosine X is the cosine of counter 1 and sine y is the sine of counter 1 and this is a simple bit of code just there hopefully I'm zoomed in and you can see it properly it's a GLCD line, so we start in the middle 64 across, half of 128 32 down and it's 64 which is half the width again plus half the width again times cosine x and then half the height, so 32, plus half the height times sine y, uh, and then colour 1. So that one line, instead of plotting 60, 60 bits of code for 60 lines or whatever you're doing, uh, that one line does it all for you. So to get the number float to string, counter test, TLC to write to text, that's just for the counter. And what I've got, you see it zeros at 4.61 uh, clears the screen 
uh, and then I'm at the start uh, the counter equals 1.555 which is sort of 12 o'clock as opposed to if I set it to zero it'd be three o'clock uh, captures the same uh, I put a small delay in while I, when I was, I was running it slowly there's not jumping but the board wasn't picking up every rotation never missed it on the display having said that so that's the capture, still capture 1 and 2 same as before the interrupt for the press button same as before uh, and this is the main so we still, yeah, everything same as before except the counter instead of starting at 0 we're starting at minus uh, 1.555 um, maybe I could change and show you no I won't take too long so there's the interrupt routine for the press button capture um, that's about it so it's quite a, a simple program and then obviously the while statement which is the same as before except what I've done I've taken out the seconds because I'm not using a manual so you, if this is a double or floating that number you can't have counter plus plus so what I've actually got counter 1 equals counter 1 plus see point 0.1 um, and cap, uh, clear the flag clear the capture and same for the reverse you saw the reverse is going quicker so I've got it counting up in point 0.2 and then break and then that's a switch same again uh, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned in previous video so it's constantly looking at the, this EEPROM address see if there's a, a 1 or a 0, see if it's going forward or backwards and end of the program, show position so that's it, so if I just change counter 1 so if I change this to instead of point 1, if I change it to 1 now that's on 1 you'll see why I have to go down so now if I do this, if counter equals I don't know, 60 and um, yeah we'll have the counter starting at north I think and there starting at north right, if I program this quickly right so now you can see it's not starting at 12 o'clock anymore uh, 0 degrees on any chart is uh, three o'clock so what I'll do I've also changed the increments from 0.1 to 1 so if you see oh, the counter's gone berserk but because of um, you see that's that's one count two I think three four five six so you can see all of a sudden just five or six clicks we're getting complete rotations I don't know why my counter has gone berserk uh, right, the other video ran out, so part two, part two, or part two, so zero degrees. I've changed it from it's now counting up in whole numbers. I've changed that from a float to an integer, so normal numbers, whole numbers. And you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. And we've done a whole revolution with just six clicks. That's why I split the um, counter up into points. But so what you can do, you can carry on rotating, but the number's obviously going to carry on going up. It depends what you want. If you want something like that, that's, that's fine. Oh, I had it reset at 60 and clear the screen. So you can see it's incrementing 60. So that's in big steps. Obviously, you change it to point one you get 60 steps down to about point two point three you get 30 steps per revolution if I clear that what did I have the backwards so the backwards one is still going point two 